Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of multiplication and division. This is standard 6.3e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 2 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a baby that weighs 7.25 or 7 and 25 hundredths pounds at birth and at the end of eight months the baby weighs two and a half times more. And so how many pounds did the baby weigh at the end of eight months? Looks like a basic multiplication problem until you really write it out and you're thinking 7.25 times two and a half. Kind of hard to multiply a fraction and a decimal. So we've got some options here. Uh, one option would be to, probably the easiest one would be to change this two and a half into a decimal. If you really want to, you can change both of these into improper fractions and multiply them straight across, but then you'd have to move them back into decimals to find the answer. So let's look at just changing this. Two and a half, well the two is going to stay the same. And all we have is the one half. Now that should be a benchmark fraction. You should already know what one half is as a decimal in sixth grade. That's something you learn. If not, you can always divide up. So when you're looking at two halves, you can go to two into one, or one half goes two into one, zero times. But that gets you a decimal up here. Always bring an extra zero after the decimal. So that's going to be my one right there. There's my 10, and it goes in five times. So that's something that uh, you should keep in the back of your mind. 1 half equals 0 0.5. Now since it's 2 and a half, it's going to be 2.5. We're going to bring this 0.5 over here from the tenths place, and we're going to leave our 2 from the whole number right there. So now that looks a little bit easier. We've got 7.25 times 2.5. So we just replace the 2 and a half mixed number with 2.5. So we can actually do this good old-fashioned way of multiplication of the algorithm of 7, 2, 5, and then 2, 5. Now you notice I'm not going to bring my decimals in. So I'm just going to leave my decimals out, pretend it's 725 times 25. When you are adding and subtracting decimals, you need the decimals to line up. But when you're multiplying and dividing, it doesn't really matter. Not until the end. So let's just go ahead and multiply this real quick. So that's going to be 25. 5 and 2 is 10, add the 2 is 12, 5 and 7 is 35, add the 1 is 36, make sure you get rid of this, you've been multiplying for a while so it should be easy, so that's going to be 10, 2 and 2 is 4, add the 1 is 5, now I've got my 14, so let's just go ahead and add this. these two rows up here, these partial products, I've got 11, that's going to be 8, now Let's see if we can make that look a little bit easier. I've got one, two, three digits behind the decimal in my factors. So I'm going to count over from the end and put one, two, three digits behind the decimal. And I'm going to get 18 and 125 thousandths. So there's my answer right there. Now what would this look like as mixed numbers? Well. 7 and 25 hundredths is the same as 7 and 25 hundredths, right? So if I wanted to make that a, an improper fraction, I could say 725 over 100 times 2 and a half is the same as 5 halves. So remember, you can multiply straight across if you want to when you're multiplying decimals or multiplying fractions. So you'd have to do 725 times 5. And we already did that up here. It's 3625. So this is 3625 over 2 times 100 is 200. So you, this, 3625 over 200. You can make that into a mixed number. And guess what you're going to get? you are going to get this 18.125. So usually it's easier just to use the decimals rather than having to convert back from a mixed number, improper fraction to a mixed number.